Hey everybody, so I'm going to be showing you how to do this. We've got some diamond shaped spots in the small size from Tandy Leather, some opalescent baubles that I enameled myself, and um, the fractal wrap done with 18 gauge parawire in vintage bronze. So let's get started. So I'm going to be taking my metal awl and coming in and I want this back bobble to be positioned where these three points converge and I want this front bobble to be positioned where those three points converge and then the center one will be equidistant and so I want it to be more or less lined up with this bracer then holding it in place I'm going to mark with the awl, I'm just puncturing a hole in the four quadrants and then dividing it up into eighths and then I'm going to be dividing it further into sixteenths. And that one's done, so I can move that out of the way. And I'm going to do the center one. Again, demarking the uh, eighths. Now this one, yeah. And then further still into the sixteenths. And then the smallest bobble, I'm going to have to, to uh, demark at twelfths. So marking out the four and then just doing two dots in between the quadrants. So how many does that give us? Yeah, that's twelve. Then I'm going to be using my one eighth of an inch hole punch if I can find it I've been steadily growing a bigger and bigger mess um, <laughs> I've been trying to stay on top of it I really have but sometimes it, there it is it straight up gets away from me so one eighth inch hole punch and I'm gonna be lining up the edge of the hole punch with that dot that I did. So I'm doing it not centered up on it, but just a little offset. I really hope that makes sense. And I'll show you what I mean. And I'm going to do just a little indent so that you can see what's happening there. So I don't have it centered up over the little dot. I have it edged. And I'm just going to go through and punch out holes on all of these. Also, don't feel like you have to stay with where the dots are. If you feel like some of them are a little more clustered together than what they should be, use your artistic discretion. You're not going to be able to see this. It's going to be covered in wire. But uh, go ahead and make the modifications that you feel like you need to make and do the best work that you can. So then you're going to have all the holes punched, like so. And for a 20 millimeter cabochon, I am going to be using about two feet of the 18 gauged wire. And with my round nose pliers, 
I'm going to get in here, I'll try to show you if I can, and make a little spiral. It's a seriously weird camera angle for me. Um, just something that'll keep the wire from just ripping out the back. Flatten it down at the pliers. So I've got a little spiral. And then I'm going to feed my wire through the back. Just pick any of the holes. Just pick one. Thread it through. And so you're going to have the wire threaded through. And then push it over flat. That way it's going to sit nice and flat on your bracer, or rather on the back of your leather. So now we have all this wire threaded through to where it's sitting quite snugly on the back of the leather. And we're going to turn around to the front. We're going to retrieve our lost cover songs that got pushed off of the work surface. And I'm going to just center it up. And I'm going to count, I think I can do it every, on the fourth hole, so it's one, two, three, four. You count away, not including the one that you just started through, but one, two, three, on the fourth hole, you're going to insert the wire and pull it through. I can put my finger in there to keep it from kinking funny. And then pull down, pretty snugly. These first couple of wraps is pretty difficult because you're trying to, um, oh, what's it? You're trying to get the cabochon set without it just running away on you. And then come one back. You can see on the back side. Again, you want to make sure that there's no tangling. Pull that nice and tight. Flip it over. And then you'll thread through, you just threaded through that one, so we're going to come one back. This is one, two, three, four. Pull the wire through. And there goes our cover shot. <laughs> if I had thought ahead, I would have possibly set this with an epoxy or a fabric glue because that actually holds really well onto the leather. But I did not think ahead. <laughs> so here we are. Then thread through the next one from behind. Pull your wire through. Again, you want to make sure that you don't get any kind of kinking. Now, especially with the 18 gauge like this, it is going to get more and more work hardened. Um, but that's fine because the final result, I need it to be nice and stable and sturdy. So I'd rather fight with the wire now than have my bobble constantly popping out. And we're just going to repeat this weaving. Give me a second, I'll get my thumb out of the way so you can see what's happening. I see how it's building the wire up around it. Pulling the wire through. One, two, three, four. Pulling it down snug. Nope, wrong one. There we go. Pulling the wire through on the back side. Now here, this one, this hole already has one wire going through it. We're going to double up. That's completely natural. That's part of the weave. I'm actually going to change my camera view just a bit. That I can work with one hand on either side. Pull that down. Come in from behind. And pull that through. Pull nice and tight. Come in from the front. It's one, two, three, four. I almost skipped one, but I double checked with my counting, so there we go. And then just pulling through from the back. And getting that nice and stabilized where it goes. Let's see. 
Okay, in from the back. Ooh. Tilting the camera. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to hear that leather creaking from how much I'm pulling it. And this is um, about an 8 or 9 ounce vegetable tanned leather. It's very durable, very strong. But you do want to be careful that you don't rip out your holes if you're using something thinner. Coming through that one. And you'll just want to continue around like this. Just building the new layer over the last one. Okay, so now we've gotten to this hole that already had one other through it, but we're coming around from the back. So there we go. And then we'll go one, two, three, into the fourth. Never hurts to double check your counting. If only to just reaffirm that you're getting it right. <laughs> one, two, three. That one already has two in it, so here we go. Through that one. Next one in line. Pulling that down nice and tight. Two, three, four. Finishing off. This is one of the few projects that um, I'd very much rather give myself more wire to work with than not enough. Pull it nice and tight. Come in from... Sorry, I realize I'm all over the place, but like the camera is literally right in, right in my line of sight, so I'm having a hard time seeing what's going on. So then we've got two, three... Last one. Or second to last, I'm not sure yet. Mm, one, two, three, four. Tightening that down. Yeah, I do believe that was our last one, guys. And I'm going to kind of push this first wire over with my thumb some and you want to test it out a bit and make sure that you can bend your leather this way and your bobble's not going to be popping out. Looks nice and secure. Before I stage, like stabilize the wires entirely, you can see how I'm coming out here on the back. I'm just going to thread through the mess of it. Just like that. Grab that with my pliers. Pull through the rest of the way. I'm going to go ahead and snip, giving myself only about a centimeter of tail. And that is going to get spiraled back into the rest of the wire. Now, on this project, this is going to be covered with a liner, so you don't have to worry about it being so bulky. And then I'm going to take the round nose end of my pliers, insert it there on the wire and just kind of push up then you go to the next wire and push up and this opens up this netting a little bit gives it a much airier and consistent bezel there I go knocking my camera over again and it just it tightens it down that nice little bit I think it's totally worth it because this extra little step right here makes the whole project look that much prof more professional and fantastic and just, you want it to be pretty, you know? So there we go. That's how you do a fractal wrap on leather. Now also, this does come out much nicer when you're on, like, you've got a thinner <laughs> a thinner piece of a uh, wire. I'm gonna try my best to push this. There we go. 
And if you notice, like I've got this one wire here on the front that's just giving me a hard time. I'm grabbing it from the back and just twisting it down tighter. But yeah, there you go. That's basically it, you guys. So thanks for watching. If you're interested in seeing what this piece of leather with bobbles becomes, uh, check out some of the cosplay videos that I have up. I'm showing the whole construction of the piece from start to finish on, it's a head to toe with prop costume. So check it out and let me know what you think.